this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of how to configure MPC Beats so you can record your voice for a podcast using your Marantz MPM 4000U. Now, when you launch MPC Beats for the first time, it will walk you through a setup wizard. So if you happen to have a MIDI controller keyboard for making music, this is the perfect time to set that up. Now, if you don't own a MIDI keyboard or controller, simply press next. And now we select our workspace. Now we're going to press simple, which is great for beginners. Then we press next. Then we press start making beats. And now we're going to select an empty project to start recording with. So we'll press empty, press load project. And now we're inside MPC Beats. Now on the right hand side, you'll see a useful starter guide, which you can access by using the I help button. So you can open and close this anytime. Now the first thing we want to do is go up to Beats, go to Preferences, and here we need to configure our Marantz microphone to be our input and output, allowing us to play back and record audio. Now to configure your audio on a PC, go to Menu, then go to Edit, and here you can select Preferences. So now that we've configured our microphone, press OK, and now we need to set up MPC Beats to record audio. So we'll highlight our Audio tab, and then once selected above this, we're going to go to our track view so we can actually see our audio. Now, before we record, we want to set up a few things. We want to turn off our loop, which is under sequence, and we're going to name our sequence podcast demo. So we have a name for our project. Then we're going to name our audio track. We're going to call this vocal one. And then we turn on auto monitor. This means that we can monitor our voice through our headphones as we're recording. Now, if you need to adjust the input record level, simply use the gain knob on your Marantz microphone to increase or reduce the volume. The perfect volume to record your voice is to make sure that your channel meter is hitting at around minus 3 dB. Now, we also need to configure our metronome when recording. So we're going to go up to menu. We're going to go down to tools. We're going to select metronome and we're going to go to enable and we're going to turn this off so we don't hear this when we were recording. So now let's press the record button, then play and start, and we're now recording our audio. Now, as I talk on the microphone, my voice has been captured in real time. Now, once you finish recording your voice, simply go back to the transport and press the stop button. Now to play back our recording, go to the play start button and just press play. Once you finish recording your podcast, it's important to save your work. Now to do this, simply go to File and save your project. And now simply give your project a name and press Save. Now if you're using PC, simply go up to the menu icon and then select File and then Save Project. And here you can also name the project. Now to make your recording even more professional, we can actually edit the start and end points of our file, removing any unwanted noise. Simply go to the bottom of the file and drag it to the right and this will remove any noise at the beginning and you can do the same at the end. Now grab the file and move it to the beginning of the timeline. Now to export our podcast, we're going to go to File, then we're going to go down to Export and select Audio Mixdown. And here we can render out our file to upload to the internet. Now the best formats to use is either WAV or MP3. Once we selected that, press export. And now we need to pick a destination to save our podcast. So I'm going to use our desktop. Now let's name our file. So let's call this our podcast demo audio and press save. And now it's rendered out our file. So if we now go to our desktop, you'll see a file here and it's now ready to load to your website. Now we've also created a user podcast template for recording. This can be downloaded in the descriptions on the video. Once downloaded, simply take the file and drag it into MPC Beats. This will now open a podcast template ready for you to record. Simply click the track view, go to vocal track one, and now go to the transport control hit record and play and start recording your podcast. Once you've finished, you're ready to upload.